Hey everyone, Sophia here in San Francisco at the Microsoft event, and I'm joined by Nathan Martz from Double Fine, and we're here to see Sesame Street, Once Upon a Monster. Welcome. Oh, thank you very much. It's great to be here. So tell us about the game. How did this idea get started? Well, the actually original idea was developed during what we call Amnesia Fortnite, which is a period where we take two weeks off of the game's development that was during Brutal Legend and worked on something entirely different. But part of Amnesia Fortnite is that not only do you forget about the game you're working on, when you're done, you forget about the prototype. Well, this is one of our first prototypes. And as we went back to Brutal Legend, Tim and I kept talking about it, felt like it was an idea we really wanted to develop. Uh, around that time, we heard that Connect was coming out. We're like, wow, we've got this very family-friendly IP that's all about new interaction. Connect is a perfect match for that. And then not long after that, we heard that Sesame Workshop and Warner Brothers were partnering. We're like, wow, this is the perfect combination. And that's really where we got today. Yeah, Sesame Street is quite the departure. So now you said it was a family-friendly game. Now how does this work? Uh, well, so it's all about parent-child co-play. Sesame Street, actually 41 years ago, pioneered the idea of a television show designed not just for kids, but for adults to enjoy with their children. And we've taken that idea and made it all about co-play. So this is a game for parents and children to enjoy together. So the game is structured, it's an interactive storybook composed of chapters. Every story, uh, every chapter is a story about a monster who has a different kind of problem who needs your help to solve it. So using the magic of Connect, you and your children, your siblings, whoever, get together, help Cookie, Elmo, and some other Sesame Street monsters help our monsters solve their problems and make sure that the storybook has a happy ending. Yeah, I was a big Sesame Street fan when I was growing up. I watched a lot of the show. And uh, could you talk about some of the characters and what we did in the game um, in particular in this demo? Yeah, well, so you, you know, you guys are of course not the only ones who are fans. That you know, for Double Fine, this is the first time that we've ever done licensed IP, uh, and for us, we don't take that lightly. In fact, there's very few IPs that we would choose to work with, and in this case, we not only choose to work with it, we're honored to work with it. Uh, you know, Tim and I both grew up; we're children of Sesame Street. There are huge impacts on our lives. Many of our developers really moved. You know, Cookie Monster is one of our favorites. Elmo reaches a lot of new, younger viewers, and we've got some other favorites in the game as well. In fact, we're going to be announcing some more of them as we go along. But um, yeah, we're, if they mean a lot to us, you'll definitely see them in the game. So in terms of gameplay mechanics, um, what are some of the gestures or things that you'll be doing sure. in the game? Yeah, so every chapter, every story is broken up into a set of pages. And every page is a different activity that helps tell a part of that story, helps bring it towards its happy ending. So the, uh, as a family game, we really wanted to make sure that our activities spoke to a wide variety of people. So we don't just have one kind of game and that's it. It's a collection of activities. So we have some activities that are very physical, that are about running and jumping and about accomplishment and speed. We have some that are musical, that are about making music together, and others that are about aesthetic creativity, dress up and decoration, and even some activities that mix different elements of those together. So we think that every chapter, every story will really resonate with the whole family, and then everyone will have find at least a few activities that they love and the rest that they enjoy. Very cute. Now, so when's the game coming out and on what platform? It'll be out this fall for Xbox 360 and Connect. All right, thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you very much. And that was our look at Sesame Street Once Upon a Monster. Now, be sure to check back on the game space for more coverage.